Thank you so much for joining me again. I always appreciate it. And welcome to anybody who is joining me for the first time. Where have you been for two years? <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about toolkits. Yeah, I admire people who have a toolkit involving screwdrivers, hammers, etc, etc, that is neat and tidy, a place for everything and everything always in its place. Mm. Mine's never like that. I've always, where's the hammer gone? And it's wherever I actually laid it down <laughs> at the end of the last task. I am not very methodical with that. But I am actually talking about toolkits for other purposes. Um, always used to have a, a toolkit when I was teaching, working with special needs children, because it was always important to make what was a learning problem into a teaching problem. So that meant trying different ways to gain access to their particular way of learning and their, to help them to remember things. Um, yeah, some of the things that I tried were, were really quite interesting and they were very often off the cuff when everything else had not worked. I used to enjoy doing that sort of thing. But also, I have a toolkit when it comes to therapy. Um, I don't believe in just offering one type of therapy. The thing seems to be CBT at present because it's time limited, therefore it comes out more cheaply. Um, yeah, I've done the CBT training, but I've also done, ooh, gestalt hypnotherapy um etc etc i can't think of all the things I've, I've done i've done lots oh mindfulness i've done a lot of work with mindfulness so it's a matter of what is right for an individual just as with the child the same with a client what works for one client might not work for another so it's the same with having a personal toolkit, especially if we are experiencing mental or emotional problems. It's good to have a standby of things to try because sadly so what works on one day, it might not work the next day. So good to have a backup of things that you can try and friends can advise you yeah but not if they start saying you've got to do this because it worked for me it might have worked for them but they are a different person and it can be the complete opposite for me I retreat into my home if the old hamster in the wheel is going round full tilt up here. And if it's really bad and I have problems with anxiety, then I will quite happily have a day of slobbing. <laughs> I will be in my pyjamas, in my dressing gown, just because... I need to feel totally physically comfortable and that might actually include going and snuggling under the duvet for the afternoon and I've got over feeling guilty about things like that. The world doesn't stop, the world carries on so I'm not hurting anybody, I'm not adversely affecting anybody but for others it can be the complete opposite. For me, I feel safe here, I like to hunker down here, 
I like to heal here, also out in nature. But for others, they need to feel ready to get out, to escape, to run. So they feel that they have to be up and dressed and ready to go at the drop of a hat. For me, that would feel wrong. For them, spending the time in the pyjamas and dressing gown would feel wrong. It's not one size fits all because we are all individuals. We all have our, I don't like the word, but it, it does say what I mean. We all have our own backstory, the things that are affecting us the things that are affecting our minds and of course our physical being as well because you can't separate them. So it's good to find out what helps you. I like music. I've got a stack of DVDs um, and I will listen to those. I'll Now that my eyes are recovering I'm hoping I'll be able to get back to doing some craft work. Um, for me, that's a good way to escape. I'm being creative and being creative is good. And a, a friend knows this and bought round for me the other day a little pack of travelling paints and some painting paper. So I have no excuse. I've got embroidery, I've got painting, I've got things that I can try. So get yourself a backup of things. And my all too ever favourite thing is a soak in a bath, loads of bubbles, lots of music and a nice long drink as well. Sometimes a glass of wine, but very often a nice cold fresh orange. And I can stop there until I feel and look like a prune, <laughs> but nobody minds. On that note, sort out your toolkit. A note to self, sort out your toolkit in the garage. <laughs> okay, right, will do. You're allowed to nag me. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye for now. And look after yourself. Bye.